For years, I had it all wrong. I thought the deadlift was everything. The absolute king of building raw strength. The only number that mattered. I chased it, week after week, just trying to pull more weight off the floor. But I was wrong. The truth? The truth is that one simple exercise I'd been ignoring for years completely shattered my definition of strength. It packed on muscle the deadlift never could. The gains, especially in my back and my core, were so insane it felt like I found a cheat code. This is the story of how I had to completely rewire my brain about what it means to be truly strong. My deadlift obsession. Look, don't get me wrong, I love the deadlift. I still do. There's no feeling on earth like breaking a heavy bar off the floor and locking it out. A new PR. It's the best. For the longest time, my entire life in the gym was built around that one lift. If my deadlift was going up, I was getting stronger. End of story. It was my benchmark. Everything I did, every other exercise, was just there to help my deadlift. Rows, just to build a stronger pull. Glute bridges, for a better lockout. The deadlift was the sun, and everything else just revolved around it. But then I hit a wall. A hard wall. My numbers just stopped. Progress was a fight for every single pound. And worse, my body started fighting back. That little twinge in my lower back after a heavy day. It started showing up more and more. My hips were always tight. My grip would fail before anything else, and that was just infuriating. I'd walk out of a heavy deadlift day feeling powerful for a second, but also wrecked, brittle. It felt like I was building this huge tower on a foundation full of cracks. I was getting better at one thing, lifting a heavy object up and down. But was I actually a more capable human? I was starting to think the answer was a big, fat no. I had gym strength. Strength for one lift, in one specific way. But what about real life? I was so obsessed with the numbers on a bar that I developed this crazy tunnel vision. I ignored what my body was telling me and just kept trying to smash through the wall. More deadlifts have to be the answer to a deadlift problem, right? Wrong. What if the king, the deadlift, was just one piece of a much, much bigger puzzle? What if real strength wasn't just about one massive lift, but something more useful? The Farmer's Walk I knew about the Farmer's Walk. You see it on TV, right? Strongman guys carrying cars and refrigerators. It looked awful. I always wrote it off as just some weird event, or maybe a conditioning thing you do at the end. It wasn't a main lift. It wasn't the deadlift. To me, it was nothing. So, totally fed up with my stalled progress and my aching back, I just decided to try it. I expected nothing. Maybe it would help my grip, which I knew was a weak spot. So, I grabbed a couple of heavy dumbbells, and I just walked. And let me tell you, it was humbling. Seconds in, and my forearms were on fire, my traps were screaming. My core felt like it was in a hydraulic press. I couldn't get very far. The weight I picked up, which I thought was nothing, felt like it was bolted to the floor after about 30 feet. It was a different kind of hard. A max deadlift is like an explosion. Five seconds of pure effort, and then it's over. The farmer's walk? It's like being slowly crushed. It's a fight, a battle of just pure grit. I started doing them twice a week. I didn't even change anything else, really. I just pulled back on the deadlift intensity a little bit. I thought it was just this little side project. I had no idea it was about to take over the whole show. The revelation, the gains I didn't see coming. About six weeks later, things started to get weird. My deadlift, the one I was actually doing less of, started to feel... Easy. The bar was flying off the floor. My lockout was fast. My grip? Not even a thought. The bar felt like it was glued to my hands. But that wasn't the crazy part. The crazy part was everything else. My whole body felt bolted together. For the first time, I actually understood what core stability meant. It's not about doing crunches. It's about your body refusing to fold 
while you are moving with a heavy-ass weight in your hands. The farmer's walk makes every single muscle between your fingers and your toes fire at once. Obliques, abs, your deep back muscles, all of it in one brutal, sustained contraction just to keep you upright and safe. No plank ever gave me that. And my back. Oh my God, my back. Deadlifts build your glutes and hamstrings for sure. But the farmer's walk was forging them into pure stabilizers. My upper back and traps just blew up. Carrying heavy weights forces your traps and back to just hold on for dear life. And the result was this dense, rugged muscle that I'd never had before. My posture got better. I was standing taller. That nagging ache in my lower back, it started to just fade away. This was the light bulb moment. I was so focused on the deadlift, an exercise that shows you're strong, that I'd ignored an exercise that builds strength from the ground up. The farmer's walk wasn't an accessory. It was the foundation, the piece I was missing all along. It builds a raw, usable strength that makes everything else you do better. The science of it, the not boring version. So my results felt like magic, but they're not. It's actually backed by some serious science. When you look at the why, it all makes sense. The deadlift is an amazing lift, but you're mostly just moving up and down. The farmer's walk is a loaded carry, which is probably one of the most basic, fundamental things a human can do. It turns out that when you do them, your torso stays much more upright and vertical. This means way less stress on your lower back compared to the bent-over position of a deadlift. One study even said it's a great way to generate force without putting your lumbar spine at as much risk. That's why my back started feeling better. I was still lifting heavy, but in a smarter, safer way for my spine. But here's the real kicker, walking. The second you start moving, everything changes. Every single step, your body has to fight to keep you from tipping over. Your core and your glutes are firing like crazy to keep your pelvis stable. A deadlift can't do that. It just can't. You're building strength while in motion. That is the literal definition of functional strength. The kind of strength that helps you carry all the groceries in one trip, move a couch, or play a sport. The farmer's walk builds a 360-degree shield around your spine, gives you a ridiculous grip, and builds a massive upper back, all while smoking your heart and lungs. It's the total package. The strength cheat code, your turn. So what do you do? Am I saying you should quit the deadlift? No, absolutely not. The deadlift is still king for testing your max strength and packing on sheer size. But if you want to be completely, functionally, and resiliently strong, you need the farmer's walk. Think of it like this. The deadlift proves your strength, but the farmer's walk forges it. Here's how to start. It's simple. Just do farmer's walks at the end of your workouts. Two, maybe three times a week. You don't need special handles. Heavy dumbbells or kettlebells are perfect. And focus on your form. Chest up, shoulders back, core tight like you're about to get punched in the gut. Short, quick steps. Look straight ahead. Want to get strong. Go heavy for short distances. Pick a weight you can barely carry for 50 feet. Want to build endurance? Go a little lighter for a longer time or distance, and you have to push it. The real magic, the good stuff, happens in that moment when your body is screaming, telling you to drop the weight, but your brain just says, no. That's where you build real toughness. So here's the challenge. If any of this sounds familiar, if you feel stuck, or if you feel like something is missing from your training, I am challenging you to try this. Take the farmer's walk seriously for the next two months. If you're going to do it, or if you're already a believer, drop a comment below. I want to hear how it goes. And obviously, if this was valuable, hit like, hit subscribe, all that good stuff. In the end, this whole journey taught me a huge lesson. Real strength is not a number on a spreadsheet. It's not about being the best at one lift. It's about being a capable, resilient human being. It's about being useful. The deadlift built my engine, but the farmer's walk taught me how to drive. 
It filled in all the gaps I didn't even know existed. It turned my fragile, one-trick pony strength into something I could actually, finally, use.